even the technology, the machines are from US. And um, ang ano namin is um, we follow US protocol. So kung hindi siya kailangan hindi namin ginagawa. And one thing good, sabi ko nga sa mga doctor sin daw, um, get married, iniwasan natin ma-operahan kagad yung patient. So, um, kasi yung recovery will take time. But, um, ano namin, hindi naman namin sinasabi lahat makukuha ng minimally invasive. So, the most important um, ano ng Regenestem is to improve the quality of life of the patient. That's the most important. Kasi pag hindi, um, pag nag-opera, syempre it will take time. Yung recovery, so yung quality of life, medyo mahirap. Yung iba naman na walang may offer ng medical treatments, for example, yung mga arthritis, arthritic joint, or arthritic pain, wala naman silang sakit. But meron silang limitation of their movement. So, yun ang ginagawa. Yun ang gusto ng, yun ang aim ng Regenestem. So, to provide a minimally invasive procedure na parang with less downtime. Okay, thanks, Doc. Uh, no, you're good with that. I know. Okay. Um, EJ, before we proceed, uh, uh, we'd like to acknowledge he's here now, Mr. John Cuenca. Cuenco. Cuenco. Oh, Jong Cuenco. 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 Yeah. Hello, thank you okay. for being here today. Are we good? Here's a question from the editor of Manila Times, uh, Ms. Tessa Ariola. Good evening, doctors. Congratulations on our region in Manila. I just wanted to know, uh, of course, uh, in the past, no, there have been controversies regarding stem cell. Uh, I just wanted to hear from you, no, uh, in terms of government approval and then the acceptance of a stem cell in the medical field, specifically in the Philippines. Ano po yung status nun sa ngayon? Um, right now, the status of uh, stem cell medicine is still under regulation. So well, there is no specific guidelines yet. But anything that is not approved by the FDA, by our FDA, our main advantage is we can send patients to US. So yung hindi, hindi approved the indication in the Philippines, yung mga patient, we can send them abroad. Because the Genestem is not only, a, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, in, it's all around US, South America, in Dubai, and now they're going to open one in Australia. So anything that is not approved by the FDA, we will not do it here. Okay. But cell-based therapy, when you say cell-based therapy, these are growth factor therapies, and it's, mm -hmm. ano yan, uh, it's a common procedure. So mm -hmm. it's, approved. it's an approved okay. procedure. But on your end, doctors, are you working towards like a more, um, you know, like per perhaps moves to make uh, this kind of treatment you know, approved by government, by the medical Yes, um, even, uh, even in U.S., even in uh, Korea, in other, in other countries, uh, it, this, this is not yet approved. This is still under clinical trial, but the results are very promising. So, Piazza states, it's a state law, which means, merong state na inaalaw nila yan because the result is very promising. As I've said, this is not a cure. This is not a cure for a certain disease. This is more of improvement of quality of life. Okay, thanks, Ms. Tessa. Thanks, Doc Eric. Thank you. Any uh, other question? Okay, uh, the lady in your yeah, table. Then. Um, hi, good evening, doctors. My name is Mia Antonio for LionheartV.net. Uh, my question is, I just want to ask, what are the objectives of Regenes de Manila? Okay, first and foremost, um, the objective of Regenist and Manila is to bring to Filipino patients um, the cutting-edge technology that they've been researching and studying on in the United States in terms of regenerative medicine and um, molecular orthopedics. Um, another is to um, offer treatments that are as effective or almost as effective as um, the surgical procedures that they can possibly undergo with very little downtime. Um, aside from that, uh, our objective also is to, um, like uh, Dr. Yalong said here earlier, um, for our uh, for some indications that cannot be done here, it is also our objective to be able to introduce to them um, the, the global stem cell group or regenestem in Miami so that they can consider getting treatment there as well. Thank you. Thank you, Nadia. Okay, uh, yeah, bago tayo sa ito, entertain tayo ng question here. Uh, 
Uh, Ms. Marsh from your happy camp online site. Good evening, Bob. Uh, can you also share or expound more po on one of your specializations on, in terms of sports sports medicine? Diba, medyo wide po yun. So, ano po yung pwede po niyong i-offer 